me and my coach, we have our first competition ever coming up next week. In our almost four years of playing and training together, we have never entered a competition together and it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> but I love entering competitions, so even if we lose miserably, I'm very happy to do it. And I think everybody should enter competitions. So today I wanna to talk about five reasons why you should enter a competition, even if you think you're not ready. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. If this is your first time here, I'm an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along on my journey as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. Okay, so ever since I started training badminton almost four years ago, I have wanted to play in badminton competitions. That was always my goal. But of course you can't play competitions right from the start. You gotta get to a certain level. But I started playing competitions long before I should have. I think it really helped me and it helps me now in competitions where I do have a chance of winning or I do actually win. I think it's because I started early. So let me give you five reasons why you should play badminton competition even if you think you're not ready yet. Reason number one, competition feeling. You have to train a competition just like you have to train badminton. You could be the best player in your club, but then totally lose at a competition because the whole feeling in a competition is different. Also competitions, you don't have enough warm up time. You have a lot of break time. You maybe have one game in the morning, one game in the afternoon. It's a totally different rhythm. And if you're used to like coming to a court, warming up, playing for two hours, going home, you're actually gonna find that playing in a competition is harder and it's different on your body. And you have to learn how your body works during a competition. And I think it's better to learn how your body works when you have no chance of winning, <laughs> you know? It sucks to kind of lose the opportunity to win just because like you're tired or you didn't bring enough fruit or you don't know how to stretch properly between games or you don't know that you need to stretch between games. You really gotta practice competitions before you can get good at being in a competition because it's a whole different rhythm and a whole different feeling than playing in a normal night. Reason number two, seeing and meeting new people, especially high players. If you play with the same club at the same court all the time, you're gonna really get used to everybody and even the top players, you're just gonna get used to how they play and you know their style and it can kind of lull you into a false sense of security. But when you play a competition, you play against total strangers that you probably never seen, you probably never will see, and you figure out how to quickly analyze a new player and quickly get through the game. So it's really good. You get like a whole new mix of people that maybe like your local badminton community you're kind of used to. So this whole group of people is like new and fresh and you can see how people play and you can see kind of where you are in the cosmos of this badminton competition. So it's really important, I think, also just to play strangers in a nerve wracking competitive setting. <laughs> is nerves man <laughs> like it takes a really long time to get over badminton competition nerves i mean at least for me maybe you're different but going to like a new court you're playing with strangers like everything is just like nerve-wracking and it takes a really long time to kind of get out of that and i'm not even out of that i am still quite nervous at competitions but i'm much much better than i used to be i used to just be so like breathless with nerves. Now, I know I have to take a deep breath. Every time I serve, I just, and then I serve, and that really, really helps my nerves. But it took me 
several competitions to figure that out. I would say at least 10, maybe 15 before I figure that out. The more you get comfortable with being in a competition, having people stare at you, having the pressure of being in a competition, it definitely helps your nerves so that you are less and less nervous the more and more you do it. Reason number four, um, learning to embrace failure and humiliation because the competition, somebody's always gonna be watching you, even if it's just the umpire, but it is gonna go in the official results and people can see your results and there's probably gonna be a small crowd also watching you. It's really hard emotionally to know that you're gonna lose in front of people and it feels embarrassing, but I think this is a really important lesson to learn because you can't be afraid of entering a competition because you're afraid you'll lose. If I can lose a game in front of people, like I can I can look stupid in my daily life and you gotta look stupid to try new things. Maybe you can get over that with your group and your friends and you know that they know how well you play. So when you have a bad day, they know you are having a bad day. When you're playing with strangers and you have a bad game, they don't know, they just think you suck. <laughs> and I think it's really important to kind of get over that like emotional hurdle of failing publicly in front of people and competitions give you that opportunity. <laughs> Last but most important, they're just fun. <laughs> Entering a competition, even though it's nerve wracking, even though you feel stupid, even though maybe you lose, like they're just fun and you just get to be a part of the badminton community. If you love badminton as much as me, I think you also just wanna be part of the community. So competitions are a really great chance to kind of really get in the badminton community wherever you are. And I think it's just fun to test yourself and just fun to participate and even if you lose that's okay because you can still talk to people you can still meet people you can play against new strangers and it's just fun even when you lose it's just fun so that's the most important reason So I know some people think that you should be at like a high level before you participate, but I disagree. I mean, if a competition is not prohibitive to get to, as long as you don't have to like take an airplane and travel for days and get a hotel, like if it's just a couple hours drive, I think doing a competition is better than even a two hours of training. It also gives you a lot of motivation to get better and improve because you are hungry at a competition and you see other people winning and you want to win. So it really gives you like this inner fire that just like training or playing with your club doesn't. As long as it's not impossible to get to and costs you a ton of money and a ton of time, I say always go for the competition. Always enter every competition that comes your way. Even if you're gonna lose, you know, just do it, enter it and in your long-term badminton journey, it will definitely have a lot of dividends. So what do you think? Do you totally disagree with me or do you agree with me? Did you wait until you were a high level player to play competitions or did you start early like me? Let me know in the comments below. And now I'm gonna go practice because we gotta prepare for this competition next week because we're gonna lose big. We've never played together before, so we'll see.